Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Paul Innocent Channel and what it's like to really be an actor in London. Oh yes, London. Well, I've got three auditions lined up for the next two days. I believe it or not, two tomorrow, one on Tuesday. But looking good. I say looking good. We have to wait and see what happens, uh, but we take it from there. It's all good. Moving on, at the moment, great day in the middle of London, and it's good. Just on my way to my local chip shop on a Sunday afternoon, feeling good, feeling fine. I think you guys have visited my local chip shop with me in the past. We're on our way again. So, anyway, I do hope it's all been good. What a dreadful storm we had during the week, eh? The start of last week. Oh my. Oh, terrific torrential damage in Northern Ireland. Almost a third of a million homes out of uh, electricity and power for a few days. That wasn't good. That wasn't good at all. But nevertheless, they've recovered, hopefully, from that horrific time. But anyway, not a lot going on this week, so get a load of this! A 28-year-old man this week was revived after choking on a live fish. Can you believe that? 28 years of age, a live fish? What on earth was he thinking? Ding! I know! It's called kissing the fish! Who ever heard of such a ridiculous tradition? But apparently it goes on! Anyway, the man caught a Dover sole approximately 14 centimetres long. He only proceeded to unhook it, pick it up and put it near his own lips and started to kiss it. Whoops a daisy! The fish happened to jump all the way into his mouth and straight down his throat. Consequently, the man passed out because he couldn't breathe. Well, when the paramedic first arrived, he arrived to a scene of array. The man who passed out all his friends was standing there trying to give him CPR in an attempt to revive him. He said, when you're standing there watching the man turn blue and somebody's telling you that it's worth a live fish, it's hard to take it in. Well, consequently, after six attempts, the primary didn't manage to remove the fish from the man's throat. But when the man came around, thankfully, with no long-term lasting brain damage, although one thinks he probably was trying to brain damaged in the first place to attempt to kiss a live fish. Who on earth does it? The man said, it all happened in a split second. Why do you imagine squeezing a bar of soap or two of toothpaste? Suddenly, the bar of soap, meaning the live fish, jumped out of my head, straight into my mouth and down my throat. I was choked out straight away, completely. My answer to this, don't try and kiss a live fish. What on earth were you thinking? Humans and fish don't interbreed. Mermaids aren't real. The movie Splash was a make-believe movie. Make-believe, all right? Okay, personally, I'd like to have my fish dead and cooked. Hopefully at the local fish and chip shop. Even then, I don't attempt to kiss it. To kiss it. I normally just eat it. Kissing your fish? Who ever heard of such nonsense? Ladies and gentlemen, no kissing of live fish. None! All right? Ciao for now.